In this video, we will discuss the interactive aluminum frame design procedure in SAP 2000. To access the aluminum frame design, it can be found underneath the design tab. The design check of aluminum frames is seamlessly integrated within the program. Initiation of the design process, along with control of various design parameters, is accomplished using the design menu as shown here. Automated design at the object level is available for any one of a number of user-selected design codes, as long as the structures have been first modeled and analyzed by the program. Model and analysis data, such as material properties and member forces, are recovered directly from the model database and are used in the design process in accordance with the user-defined and default design settings. As with all design applications, the user should carefully review all the user options and default settings to ensure that the design process is consistent with the user's expectations. All right, so let's get started here. First thing we're gonna do is define the sections as well as create something called an auto select list. So that can be found underneath the define menu, go to section properties, frame sections. So here is a list of aluminum sections that have been imported beforehand. To do so, we can click the import new property, we'll select aluminum, and you have the option to select I sections, channels, and various other types of sections here. And you can pick and choose various sections to be imported directly into our database. I've already added a few as shown right here. So what we can do now is actually define something called an auto select list. So if I go to add new property, auto select list underneath the aluminum frame section property type, so what is an auto select list? It's a list of previously defined aluminum sections. This can be used for not only aluminum, but steel frame design, cold form design as well. So when an auto select list is assigned to frame members, the program can automatically select the most economical, adequate section from the auto select list section list when designing a member. So essentially, I'm going to select all of these sections, add them here to this auto select list and so SAP 2000 will go through each one of these sections and pick the best one based upon the load and code I've defined. So this can save the user quite a bit of time if something is overstressed going back and forth, making updates and changing the sections. You need to make sure that this list of sections is adequate prior to assigning them to frame sections themselves. Okay, so once that has been defined, we need to assign it to each one of these frame sections. So we'll select all the members here. We'll go to assign, frame, frame section. And it was called auto two. I'll just turn off the extrude here just to see that the sections have been assigned. And you can see it has started with the median section in that list, so that's the starting point. Now that the frames have been assigned this auto select list, let's take a look at the load combinations. First, if we take a look at the load patterns, we'll keep this model pretty simple. We just have a dead and earthquake load based upon the ASCE 722. So under define load combinations, you can see that SAP 2000 automatically defines these design load combinations based upon the load patterns that you have defined. Okay, now that the design load combinations have been defined, let's take a look at some of the parameters associated with the aluminum frame design. Under design, aluminum frame design, we can take a look at view revise preferences. So here, we can select the design code, one of three to choose from here in SAP 2000. You have the ability to update demand capacity ratios, design provisions, as well as various LRFD resistance factors. You also have the ability to update or change to ASD and the factors will update automatically as well. So for this model, we'll leave all the default parameters as is and go ahead and run the design. Well, first we need to run the analysis. And once the analysis is completed, we'll go ahead and run the aluminum frame design. Okay, now that the design is complete, let's talk about an interesting feature included in SAP 2000 called the interactive aluminum frame design. So you can see we are looking at some stress ratios here, but the interactive aluminum frame design command is a powerful mode that allows the user to review 
the design results for any aluminum frame design and interactively revise the design assumptions and immediately review revised results. So let's take a look here. Let's right click on one of the elements here to take a look at the aluminum frame design output. If we right click on this column, here is the aluminum stress check information. It's giving the governing design combo. You can take a look at axial ratios, DC net ratios, major minor ratios, as well as information for shear and torsion. If you click on the details, it will give you specific information about this section, including material properties, buckling constraints, demand capacity ratios. And as we scroll down, you can see information for flexure as shear as well. Let's say we wanted to make a change to this section. If I click the overrides button, this is where the interactive frame design comes into play. Currently, the section is AC4 by 2.33. Let's say we change it to an AC5 by 309. Once I click the OK button, all the calculations will be automatically updated. Now you can see the DC ratio is 0.529 versus 0.99 with the previous section. So the interactive frame design is a very powerful mode that allows the user to make these changes on the fly. For more detailed information, please reference the Aluminum Frame Design Manual in SAP 2000. Thank you.